So let's have a look now at the interface. Let's do an interface tour of AutoCAD 2016. Let's find out what all the things do within AutoCAD itself. Now we touched on this a little bit when we were talking about terminology, but let's go into it now in a bit more detail. So over here top left of the screen we have the application menu. As you can see there, various commands, new, open, save. And as you hover over those, you can see in the right hand pane here that you get the contextual commands that you might want to use. To lose the application menu, just hit the escape key on the keyboard, like so. Now, to the right of the application menu, you've got this one here, the quick access toolbar, the QAT. And because of my screen real estate, I can expand it out. And it also tells me what workspace I'm in, which is drafting and annotation. If I click on the end of it, I can customize the quick access toolbar and add various other commands to it. All the ones that are ticked here are the ones that are currently displayed on the quick access toolbar. At the top of the screen there, you've got the title bar, which tells us that we are in the 0104 floor plans drawing file. And then to the right of that on the title bar, you've got the info bar, which is where you can search for help and you can log into Autodesk A360 and look at the Autodesk Exchange App Store and so on and so forth. You've also got the help screens here, so I can go to help, I can download the offline help and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of tools there where I can utilize things on the info bar as well. Below those you've got the ribbon interface, so you've got the different tabs, so I've got the home tab, the insert tab, the annotate tab and so on. Now, if I go back to the Home tab, this is a good example of how to show the panels. So you've got the Draw panel, the Modify panel, the Annotation panel, and so on. And on each of those panels, you've actually got the icons that you use to drive AutoCAD 2016. And you'll notice these little triangles. These are flyout menus. So if you click there, you've got a flyout menu, and you can pin it open, and it will stay open like so. Unpin it, and it goes back in again to the ribbon. Just below the ribbon you have the tabs of all the active drawings that you have open. And if you hover over a tab like that, can you see it gives you the location and also the model and layout there as well, you'll notice. And if I come down here to the bottom of the screen now, you've got the command line where I can actually type a command like line. And if I type that in, I then get a suggestion menu which tells me the commands I can obviously click on that have the word line in them. I mentioned the right hand click menu, the shortcut menu, if I right click in the drawing area you'll notice that I can right click and it brings up all of the commands. Now this is a context sensitive menu so if I was in a command this would look different. This is just the default one but it's contextually sensitive to give you the commands that you need when you're within an AutoCAD command. Right down at the bottom of the screen you have the model tab here and you have the layout tab. The layout tab is where you set up your viewports to plot your drawings. The model tab is where you do your design full size one to one. Here you have the status bar with all your different drafting settings and you can switch these on and off by clicking here on the customization icon and that flies right up off the top of the screen because there's a lot of information on there but you can see everything that's ticked is what's on the status bar at the bottom of the screen. To lose the customization click on the icon a second time and that's it, you're done. So there's your quick interface tour of AutoCAD 2016 that allows you just to get around AutoCAD and start getting used to the user interface.